Have your palm branches today? I uh, stole this out of the fern. <laughs> Normally on Palm Sunday, I order palm branches for all the kids and whatnot to wave as they come into church and give it. And and uh, you know, uh, so um, uh, anyways, this is uh, Sealy's Bay is a little more. Uh, uh, how do you say it? Flexible. There's a politician in the back row. At the right terms, we're a little more flexible. <laughs> All right. I was going to say pragmatic, but you know, anyways. Uh, so we're not going to spend money on palm branches. So we're just going to uh, we're just going to wave the, the 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 plastic foliage around, and maybe it'll look good on the camera. All right. Anyways, so it is Palm Sunday, and our hosannas are to give praise to God, our King. It is the beginning of Holy Week for those that follow the uh, Holy Week uh, regiment of things, and we do in Methodist circles. And so uh, we have uh, Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday, and uh, we have Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday. So that's all lying ahead of us. But uh, Palm Sunday opens up Holy Week services and gets us celebrating. But you know what? We may not have issued palm branches today, but you all have been issued at birth palms, all right? You all know that? <laughs> okay, all right. And these can be instruments of worship, all right? In fact, the Bible says in the book of Psalms, it says, with my hands lifted up, I'll praise the Lord. So, all right, so... You can, you can do this today, amen? You can do this any Sunday, by the way. But uh, today, that was our your uh, issued palm branches, okay? So let's continue to worship the Lord. Let's begin, actually, by a chorus. All hail, King Jesus, you know? Let's stand for that if you're able to stand. Because we're welcoming the presence of the King amongst us today. Oh, all hail, King Jesus. All hail Emmanuel, King of kings, Lord of lords, bright morning star. And for all eternity, I'm going to praise Him, and I'll reign with Him throughout eternity. All right, all hail, all hail. Bright morning star, and throughout eternity I'll sing your praises, and I'll reign with you throughout eternity. I think it's worthy of another one. All hail King Jesus, all hail Emmanuel. Lord of lords, bright morning star, and on eternity I'll sing your praises, and I'll reign with you throughout eternity. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord, at the beginning of this service. And we pray that we would not only worship you and lift you up as King of kings and Lord of lords at the beginning of this time, but throughout this service, may you reign as Lord over us today. Lord, may you be exalted in this place. Lord, Holy Spirit, come down upon us today. And Lord, we ask for your protection from all evil by the power of the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And pray, O oh God, that you would do the things you desire to do amongst us today. 
We offer this service to you as our offering of praise. And receive it, Lord, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. And amen. You may be seated. Amen. Well, it's good to see you all this morning here in the house of the Lord. And those that may be watching and watching, watching, we pray that God's Holy Spirit touch you as well today. Amen. Our opening hymn this morning is Hosanna, Loud Hosanna, the Little Children Sing. Now, it's to a familiar tune, and you'll know it as we sing it. What number is it in the book, sister, so I don't have to turn around? 211. 211. All right. A Palm Sunday hymn. Hi, right. does it sound familiar? Hosanna, loud Hosanna, the little children sing. Thou pillared court and temple, the lovely anthem rang. To Jesus who had blessed them, close folded to his breast, the children sang their praises and simple and the best. From all of it they followed mid on exalted crowd, the victor palm branch waving and chanting clear and loud. The Lord of men and angels rode on the lowly state, nor scorned that little children should on his bidding wait. Hosanna in the highest, that ancient song we sing, for Christ our re Redeemer, the Lord of heaven, our King. Oh, may we ever praise Him with heart and life and voice, and in His blissful presence eternally rejoice. Amen. Some of them just cry out. You got to do an amen at the end of them, all right? Amen. So uh, we'll have to get a little sticker there on the piano with the amen on it for, anyways. Or I could do a twofold amen or a threefold amen or a sevenfold amen. Amen. <laughs> another beautiful day the Lord's given us, even though I'm sure I saw a little bit of snow when I was putting things in the car this morning. Yeah, it's not just me in my old age. Yeah, well, it's got to stop sooner or later. The songs I was looking at, and I think I'd like to start with majesty, is worship is majesty unto Jesus, be all glory, honor, and praise. And I know the pastor had you stand up for a song, but can we start out with standing for this one, if we're uh, comfortable standing? Majesty, worship his majesty, unto Jesus be your glory, honor, and praise majesty kingdom authority flows from his throne unto his own his anthem raise so so lift up on high the name of Jesus. Magnify, come glory. Majesty, worship. His majesty, 
Jesus who died, now glorified, King of all kings. Let's go from the top. Majesty, worship his majesty unto Jesus be all glory honor and praise majesty kingdom authority flows from his throne to his own his anthem raise so exalt lift up on high the name of Jesus magnify come glorify Christ Jesus the King Majesty, worship His Majesty. Jesus, who died, now glorified, King of all kings. Jesus, who died, now glorified, King of all King. Thank you all. Please be seated. Thank you for standing. Um. Oh, our next song is, yeah, it is. I was thinking what you said last week, Pat, and it stuck in my brain all week that as he gathered those men to follow him, I wonder... Why me, Lord, as he was heading towards Jerusalem? Why me, Lord? What have I ever done to deserve even one of the pleasures I've known? Tell me, Lord. was worth loving you or the kindness you've shown. Lord, help me, Jesus. I've wasted it. So help me, Jesus. I know what I am. Now I've needed you so help me Jesus my soul's in your hand try me Lord if you think there's a way I can try to repay all I've taken from you maybe Lord show someone else what I've been through myself on my way back to you Lord help me Jesus I've wasted it so help me Jesus I know what I am now I needed you so help me Jesus my soul's in your hand Jesus my soul's in your hand Amen I could honestly say why me Lord I wonder if those men
that also crossed her mind. Why me, Lord? Why did you pick me out of the fishing boat? Why me, Lord? I was a tax collector. Why did you pick me? Our next song is Good, Good Father, and I picked this because I'm sure people heard someone was coming to the city, and they've heard stories about him, and they're trying to imagine who's coming and, and what he's like. And so that's why this one stuck out in my mind that people have heard stories about this man coming. of what they think you're like but I've heard tender whisper of love in the dead of night and you tell me that you're pleased and that I'm never alone you're a good good father to you are to you are and I'm loved by you So I am So I am Who I am Well I've seen Many searching for answers Far and wide But I know We're all searching for answers Only you provide Because you know what we need before we say a word. You're a good, good father to you are, to you are, to you are. And I'm loved by you, to I am, to I am, to I am. You are perfect and I of your ways you are perfect in all of your ways you are perfect in all of your ways to us you are perfect in all of your ways you are perfect in all of your ways you are perfect in all of your ways to us love so undeniable I can hardly speak peace so unexplainable I can hardly think as you call me deeper still as you call me deeper still as you call me deeper still into love Love. You're a good, good father to you are, to you are, to you are. I'm loved by you, so I am, so I am, so I am. You're a good, good father to you are, to you are, to you are. And I'm loved by you. good good father and I've loved I'm loved by him and you know I don't deserve the love he gives but he gives it freely for each and every one of us he gives a love that says doesn't judge he forgives all our sins that's the love that Jesus is for our last song is Hosanna. Praise is rising. Eyes are turning to you. We turn to you. Oh, is this a favorite? Okay, here we go, people. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. We can stand for this one. And, and you know, I just think of the city as, as this people are coming towards the city. Praise is rising. There's a crowd that's gathering and they, palm branches are being laid down. 
what an event that must have been. What a, what a welcoming into the city. Do you have I just your... want you to start playing that. And I want to read that next to Scripture. After he had said this, he went on ahead to Jerusalem. And when he had come near Bethage of Bethany, at the place called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples saying, Go into the village ahead of you and enter it. You will find tied there a colt that has never been ridden. Untie it and bring it here. And if anyone asks you, why are you untying it? Just say, the Lord needs it. And so those who were sent departed and found it just as he had told them. As they were untying the colt, the owner came to them and said, why are you untying the colt? And they said, the Lord needs it. And they brought, and they brought it to Jesus. And after throwing their cloaks on the colt, they set Jesus on it. And as he rode along, people kept spreading out their cloaks upon the road. As he was now approaching the path down the Mount of Olives, the whole multitude of the disciples began to praise God joyfully with a loud voice for all the deeds of the power that they had seen, saying, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said unto him, Teacher, order your disciples to stop. And he answered, I tell you the truth. If these were silent, the stones would shout out. Praise is rising, eyes are turning to return to you hope is stirring eyes are turning to you we long for you cause when we see you we find strength to face the day in your presence all our fears are Washed away, washed away. Hosanna, Hosanna. You are the God who saves us. Worthy of all your praises. Hosanna, Hosanna. Come have your way among us we welcome you here Lord Jesus hear the sound of hearts returning to you we turn to you in your kingdom broken life made new you make us new cause we see you we find strength to face the day in your presence all our fears are washed away washed away Hosanna Hosanna you are the God who saves us, worthy of all your praises. Hosanna, Hosanna, come have your way among us. We welcome you here, Lord Jesus. Because when we see you, we find strength to face the day. Oh, in your presence, how our fears are washed away. Because when we see you, we find strength to face the day. In your presence, all our fears are washed away, washed away. Hosanna, Hosanna, you are the 
the God who saves us, worthy of all our praises. Hosanna, Hosanna, come have your way among us. Lord God, we'll hear Lord Jesus. Hosanna, Hosanna, you are the God who saves us, worthy of all our praises. Hosanna, Hosanna, come have your way among us, we welcome you here, Lord Jesus, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. I choked on that last one. That last Hosanna was put it over the edge. All right. Hosanna! You may be seated. Si, could you bring me my Bible and my sermon? Thank you, son. If you're not worn out, thank you. Amen. I wish that some of you had the enthusiasm that he has in worship. My throat. You want a drink of water? I don't know how old this is. Oh well. It's better than my... my uh, I did the cardinal sin of sugar making. I was working on my sermon and going outside and putting a stick in the wire and coming back in and then I got really into my sermon. <laughs> and I burnt the pan. Oh... Never, ever in my life have I burnt the pen. That's the grandpa's, the absolute no-no of sugar making. Anyway, so sugar making season is done for me. So anyways, I'll, I'll check it out and see how bad it was. <laughs> so I didn't have time this morning to look at it. But anyways, we continue to praise the Lord. Give him glory. Amen. For all that he has done. We're glad that you're here today and those that are watching and to pray that uh, God's Holy Spirit would minister to you. This is Holy Week. Now, you know, depending on the tradition and the background that you have, you may or may not be familiar with that kind of terminology. And, um, and um, in the standard church tradition, they got away from some of these things. And, and so um, uh, I may be reintroducing these things in the last couple of years to you uh, with Holy Week. And so uh, Pam Sunday is tonight, Pam Sunday this morning, but uh, tonight uh, we have our regular open mic night selection of, of, uh, of uh, time slot, I should say, uh, but with the addition of uh, bringing in a ringer, so to speak, Mark Alton and the quartet, as well as other visiting friends. So come and wave your Pam branches and welcome the King of Kings as we share in fellowship downstairs. So downstairs, coffee and tea. And uh, if there's cookies that show up, you know, I wouldn't turn them down. All right. So um, anyways, that's tonight at 6.30. Uh, Brother um, Kyle is coming. So this is, uh, you know, I try to book something in for Kyle to be able to get out of his apartment and get his wheelchair here. And so that's, uh, he's coming tonight. Going to share a little bit. He's been working on, you know, uh, typing in a little start, a little bit of his story, and so uh, he's going to share a little bit tonight as well. And so, uh, relaxed fellowship time. We'll spread the tables out so you can be in different places and sit around and and enjoy. That is tonight, and bring a friend. That's important too. Then Tuesday, which I don't have here, we have the children's club, of course, and we have uh, back having uh, service at the retirement home here in Sealy's Bay at 3 o'clock. So that's uh, back. I didn't put that in. Then Monday, Thursday, I have a Monday, Thursday service. Uh, Stanleyville is, you know, if you're, if you're Westport, it's on your way. <laughs> so, and I have that at one of the homes of the folks uh, that are part of the Lanark. 
outreach, and if you're interested in that, in Holy Communion and feet washing, that may scare the bejeebers out of some of you. Uh, you may not be brought up in that tradition, um, but um, uh, you don't all have to get your feet washed, okay? Or you don't have to wash your feet, all right? Uh, there'll be selected individuals that will do it, so uh, representatively, so um, I always tell that uh, for the folks that are not uh, used to that tradition, or that biblical tradition, read John chapter 13. It doesn't say you have an option. It's uh, pretty much the, the church's mandate to wash feet. And then Good Friday service the next morning is Good Friday service. Now that is here, and I really encourage you to let somebody know that it's here, uh, coming together with a couple of churches and uh, in the area. So um, we're going to be in fellowship, especially with Bethel Pentecostal Church, because he is bringing the message. Bob, Pastor Bob Crump is coming and sharing. So then Resurrection Sunday, there's one thing I didn't leave I put on because I wanted to get it confirmed and the guy didn't call me until late last night. Uh, Don Stiles, the United Church Minister, just to confirm that uh, 8 o'clock in the morning there is a sunrise service. Now you know the sun doesn't rise at 8 o'clock, but who wants to? <laughs> what time does the sun rise? Anyone know? Anyone up? 6.30? 6.15? I don't know, but... Uh, wakes me up when it when it comes from a window, but uh, anyways, uh, it's eight o'clock. So that's what we're calling a sunrise service, uh, and that is down, straight down at the docks. All right, and then at ten o'clock, that's a more reasonable time. Uh, we're going to have a pancake breakfast. So um, so if you'd like to come a little early, um, uh, I burnt the pan at the end, so I had fourteen liters of uh, syrup made so uh, we can bring I can bring syrup that wasn't burnt and um, and anyways we'll have some pancakes and fellowship coffee uh, on Easter Sunday morning all right anyway if you're interested and in, I hope you are hope you can come and and have a little fellowship so that just flows right into the service so we don't have to so if it, I, I'm not, I'll be here at eight o'clock for the sunrise service so <laughs> it gives me a gives me a chance to have breakfast, so that works out good for me, and I'll already be here, so um, I like to make a morning of it, and then uh, we hope to have some of the kids from Kids Club on Resurrection Sunday morning. We're working on it. They're practicing some songs. It's just a matter of getting them and their families here on Easter Sunday, so Amen. that would be wonderful, wouldn't it? Amen? So please do that. So uh, those are the things that are coming up. Just continue to remember uh, some of the prayer requests that are mentioned here. Anne's here, God bless her. Still, you know, the pressure is up and down, but she's here. So praise the Lord uh, for uh, you being able to be here, sister. Um, and um, uh, for Melissa, just got home, uh, been over a week in the hospital. And um, so keep her in prayer as she gets her blood uh, stabilized, etc. And I do mention Sister Gwen Simpson, who is uh, this week is returning home, and her daughter from Indiana is coming up to pick her up and bring her home. And she's hoping that that Mom and them will, because they'll be here for Easter uh, uh, Resurrection Sunday, that uh, hopefully she'll be able to come to church. So there are some prayer requests. Are there other prayer requests that I haven't mentioned here in the bulletin that you just want to uh, say, hey, let's bring this up before the Lord in prayer? Anything else that we can, um, because there's lots of stuff. I mentioned other things here, of course, as well, but something that's burning on your hearts. Nothing burning? How about a word of praise? Give God the praise that we can bring before the Lord and say, thank you, Lord, for what you're doing amongst us. Hallelujah. Anyone? Praise the Lord. Well, glory. Let's, uh, let's take it to the Lord in prayer this morning and lift him up. I'm going to ask Gavin, would you come lead, uh, lead just in prayer, but would you come to the mic? Because Not, not because we just want to see you, but because we want to hear you and we have it fed into the, to the uh, internet now, so we can all agree in prayer. Otherwise, it would just be a blank time with me bowing my head.